Chairman, uh, we're here again to discuss the challenges of the VA Electronic Health Records Modernization Program. I emphasize the word again. We've done this numerous times. The VA aims to create a unified health record for service members and veterans, enabling more consistent health care. It's frustrating that the opposite has happened. The five medical centers that are using this system are struggling with delays, disruptions, and rising costs. And only yesterday we find out the system has been a factor in the loss of veterans' lives. We all have concerns uh, about the VA's ability to manage this program, and that's not new. These delays dis and disruptions, the rising costs, have had unintended but unacceptable impacts to the health of veterans and the programs that were created to serve them. The VA and Oracle Cerner are making improvements, but they are gradual, and many of the most expensive, extensive, and most significant fences, excuse me, fixes are many months or even years away. Meanwhile, the VA tells us that they will begin rolling out EHR to new facilities in June, which is just around the corner. I've yet to see what has fundamentally changed in the system, training or program management that will make the implementation more successful. The changes in and lack of current programmatic leadership suggest to me that the whole effort may be sleepwalking toward an extremely destructive result. And due to changes in leadership at the VA, it is still an open question who will be leading this program three months from now. To justify additional spending on this program, we need assurances that every penny is spent focused on creating and implementing a system that serves veterans and provides them with the high quality care they deserve. I need to know if the VA still wants to and believes in this program. I need to know what will be different this time under the next group of leaders. Mr. Chairman, thank you for your attention to this issue. I look forward to its discussion today.